Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy, and we go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have a What's Old video for you today. This is going to be for Saturday through the weekend. It is now Monday afternoon. We're going to follow Kathy around. I think we have quite a bit to go through right now, so we'll see what we got. Start with Mercari since it's the smallest sticky. Um, and I got one of them right here. So this I actually had to go in our garage and pull it out of my JBF pile because I guess I forgot to delist it off of Mercari, but thankfully it did not sell at the sale. So I still had it. I've had this since probably 2018. A this long was time. Something I bought in the beginning of reselling, and yeah. I wish I'd never bought it, but it did finally sell for $9 plus shipping. I bought it back way back when for like $2.99. So definitely do not <laughs> recommend. I know I've personally shared that thing <laughs> on Poshmark uh, many, many times, mm -hmm. but it is good to see it go. At least we're getting the money back out of it. Yeah. And it's going to a home that will mm -hmm. appreciate it, hopefully. So this is one of those zippity zips, but this one's called the flying squirrel. So the zippity zips, you can't move your arms or legs out of like there's no holes for arms or legs it's all you're all just inside of the thing it's kind of like a loose swaddle yeah like a sleeping bag like a pillowcase you zip a baby up in, in. <laughs> yeah. but this one does have arm holes and leg holes so i don't really get the point of it but <laughs> they still sell just as well um so this one sold for 24 plus shipping i did have 11 dollars into it so just about close to doubling my money there and then Sold a Bronco's hat. Dodge the bras. Dodge everything. <laughs> yeah. Dodge these days. Our office is kind of cluttered right now. Alright, sold this Bronco's hat for $10 plus shipping. So not huge. I think this was part of the stimulus check challenge. Because it said on my spreadsheet that I bought it in January, which I think any bin strips I've had between January and now were stimulus check challenges. So, um, yeah, about a dollar into 10 plus shipping. So that was it for Mercari. All right, let's do, let's do Kitizen. I actually had a bunch of Kitizen sales because I listed over 100 items yesterday. Mostly cross-posting, but I probably listed 10 to 15 new as well. So, a lot of them are right here because I just listed them and didn't put them away yet. So, first up, uh, someone bought a bundle of two. So, this is Childhood. It just is a sweatshirt and it says Ski Team on the back. And then this is also Childhood. This is my favorite one and I'm so sad it doesn't fit anymore. <laughs> and I want to find it in a bigger size, but... I almost never see these posted, but I'd be willing to pay a good amount for it. Uh, this person did pay a good amount for it. Um, retail on this was probably 40 to 45, maybe 50 at the most. I listed mine for 60 plus shipping because it's so hard to find these days and I know people want it and it sold within just a few minutes. This bundle together, uh, buyer paid 98.55 shipped. So shipping's gonna cost me 615 of that. And the rest, I, I definitely didn't lose any money on what I paid, even though I paid a lot, probably 40 for the one and 30 to 40 for the other, I at least breaking even there, so. And Childhoods is one of those really good bolo brands, but you probably won't find it at a thrift store kind of thing, right? Yeah, I found it a couple of times at consignment stores, but yeah. I never found it at like a Goodwill or so anything. If you see it, yeah, snatch it up. <laughs> this is what the tag looks like. It's just a longer tag. Childhoods clothing. So that's that bundle and then this is just a Riley and Crew t-shirt that was my son's as well I think I bought this on their like 40% off sale and their t-shirts I think retail for like 39 bucks so it was probably around $23 that I paid and he wore it a couple times I sold it for $28.50 plus shipping so again maybe making all my money back on that one another childhoods item this one sold for 30 free ship it's just a pair of pants I don't remember where I got these. I don't think I bought them from childhood, so I probably bought them on one of the apps and probably at least making most of my money back off those, so happy with that. And then I sold these play shoes. These are the last, whoa, <laughs> time to promote Mercari items. Uh, these are the last ones of this kind that I have, so really happy to see those go and these ones sold for $26.50 free ship that was an offer I sent just because I wanted to get rid of that last pair 
So 10 into 2650. I probably made like a nine dollar profit on those. That was a big retail arbitrage. Yeah, you I had got many at least of them. 10 yeah. of that specific model. All right. Sorry, my sticky. I got them out of order because these <laughs> ones. So all right, this next one's actually going out to a um kidism friend, Amanda Pruitt, who also has a YouTube yeah. channel. She's bought from us before as well. So BB. Uh, this is a wildflowers like little bikini or tankini i'm not really sure um this we got on our nebraska trip at the once upon a child there so this was 350 and then box c this actually also came from the same once upon a child in nebraska so that's funny nope These are just some um, little girl Jack Rogers sandals. So, and Amanda lives in Florida, so this is like the perfect item for her. <laughs> uh, so she carded those both. I sent her an offer thirty five dollars plus shipping, and she accepted. So yeah, the sandals I paid six fifty for, so about ten dollars into both items. Ten into thirty five plus ship. Thank you for the support, Amanda, and yeah. be sure to go check out her YouTube channel. Yeah, I saw she uploaded a video today. I need to watch. All right, and then box Q. Back that way. All right, and then this is actually going out to a viewer uh, named Jessica. So Jessica, thank you so much. We're doing Kid Economy right now on the Kid is an app. So, I mean, it's too late to sign up this yeah. time, but we made a video about it a while back and she is participating. So she found this in my shop. It's just a red sock shirt. And then she bought it. It was nine fifty free ship. I've had this for probably since twenty eighteen as well. Mm -hmm. So it was down to nine fifty free ship, and I was happy to move it at that <laughs> price. I have a dollar into it, and Jessica scooped it up and said she loves watching our channel while she works. So thank you so much, Jessica. Thank you for the support, Jessica. All right, and then last kit is in sale. A K. another Nebraska sale so these we actually grabbed on our way driving back um, we just stopped at a random thrift I don't even remember what it was called all of their shoes were priced like so cheap like $2.99 $3.99 except for these Chacos <laughs> they had an $18 price tag on them so mm. I still picked them up because I usually sell them for 50 to 60 bucks and these ones I sold for 50 free ship they're gonna go in a padded flat rate so it's gonna cost me $8.55 through Kitizen to ship those out so I'll about double my money nothing huge but didn't take too long to sell and they were a small size I think they're a six so yeah not too bad all right and we did have two Facebook sales so B E good boy Ricky Bear <laughs> these also came <laughs> from Nebraska um, paid $4.99 for these at a Goodwill out there excuse me and I sold them for $30 plus shipping had like forever I feel like and so I post when I posted them to Facebook I just put them at a really low price so I paid nine dollars for these at Plato's Closet they are just some Nike like indoor soccer cleats so I would not recommend picking these up they just don't seem to sell that well so um I paid nine sold them for 20 plus shipping so probably like an eight nine dollar profit on those all right and then Poshmark, so box D. This is something else I've had forever. So somebody offered me seven bucks last night. I just took it. It's a no-name brand. I just thought it was pretty. I called it a swim cover-up. I don't even know if that's what it is. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like a sheer lacy type thing. And I think it would look good over some things. So, uh, yeah, seven bucks. That came from the bins. My cost of goods that day was 91 cents. So I made like a three dollar profit. <laughs> All right, and then box E. This is just one of my son's shirts. It's just H and M brand, um, but it's a nice flannel and it has a hood and everything. And on the back, it said something about Colorado Mountains. So 
thought it was cool. Um, I did price it high. H&M doesn't retail for that much, but I always price high. I see what offers I get. So I priced it at 18. Someone offered me 13 and I accepted. So I think I got that once upon a child way back when for like 350. So still making a little profit. Box S. This came from Nebraska as well. They're just those Levi's denim vintage shorts. Priced them at 35, someone offered me 25 and I accepted. Um, I paid 349 for those. Their prices out there were really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then the last Poshmark sale is actually a bundle going out to our viewer, Christina, who's bought from us several times. Um, she grabbed this Patagonia skirt. Turn that off before it keeps going. Oh, cool, I made another sale. We'll do oh. that at the end. Nice. Um, and then she also bought BB. Christina, you must be good luck. You got us another sale. She's stationed in Germany, right? Uh, or I overseas? Just, uh, yeah, definitely overseas. She, yeah. It was an APO address. So I might have been assuming Germany. Sorry <laughs> if you're not in Germany, but. Um, yeah, I can't remember where she said she was. So she also grabbed these Vionic sandals. Aroma oil diffuser thing that I was gonna keep for myself, but <laughs> I don't actually have any oils, so I'd have to buy some. And I was like, Do I really want to buy some? No. <laughs> so I listed it. So this one is part of our Bin Stimulus Check Challenge. These I actually paid up for uh, retail arbitrage for $19. And then the this I got also retail arbitrage for $10. So I have about $30 bucks into everything, and she offered me $90, so I was happy with that. So thank you so much, Christina. Yeah, thank you so much for the yeah. support, Christina, and the good luck in the sale. And I think she bought these things for herself. She normally buys for family members. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so I guess we'll find out what yeah. country you're in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then, so that was it for Poshmark and everything else today was eBay. So box F, Nike. I'm trying to remember what I sold. Oh. Yes, this person has actually bought three pairs of swim trunks. So he got these Nike, and then I have these Columbia, and then DL. Oh, sorry, Beast. <laughs> oh, Never it. mind. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> Of those moss man so he bought one i think these ones and then he messaged me asking if i would combine shipping because he wanted two more and so he had paid 4.99 shipping on these and instead of me trying to figure out all this stuff i just took off the shipping on the other two so he could purchase them outright so basically what he paid was 64.04 plus shipping for the three pairs and so the shipping, he only paid $4.99, but I'm going to put them in a pad of flat rate. They're just over a pound, so I'll be out of pocket an extra like two seventy six dollars on those, which is no problem because if I would have sent him an offer, I would have sent him lower yeah. anyway. So yeah. um, I only have about $20 into the three pairs total, so $20 into $64 plus shipping. It's not too bad. Yeah, I'm really loving those swim chunks. I'm going to try to hopefully score some at the end of this. Arbitrage yeah. some more. I got these at Salvation Army for $5.99, sold them for $21.71 plus shipping. Right. And then AC, this is something I almost left at the Denver bins when we went the other day. Just because it was, well, the brand is Pacer Petites, and petite stuff in general doesn't sell well for me, but I just thought this was like a cool. Mm -hmm. I thought somebody would want it, and yeah, they did. It only took like a week to sell. Um, and it sold for twenty one seventy one plus ship, so about a dollar into twenty one. That's pretty good. Glad I didn't leave it. Yeah, it has that cool retro look to it. Yeah. All right, and the de. This is something I just sent an offer to get rid of. You got? You getting rid of Reese? <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's a good boy. You're a good boy. Yeah. All right. So this I just got. Today. We also sold this, but for now, um, these Rockport sandals, I bought these probably two years ago for, where am I, 5 dollars 
and I just now sold them for $12 plus shipping, so definitely not a good buy. I don't know if it was a brand I've sold this brand before in the $30 range. I think these were just a women's size 6 and just... I need to stop. Not stop, but like be more selective on what I buy in size 6. Like mm -hmm. Nikes and stuff, probably okay, but something like that. It's probably going to sit. Alright, yeah, and then this is part of the next bundle seal. I had a lot of bundles this weekend. So this is a North Face fleece. That was my son's. I bought it off Kid is In a long time ago for 25. And then a Z. Also my son's jacket. So it's funny, I listed all of his jackets. You know, I clean out the jacket closet because it's spring. Mm -hmm. And then today we had a bunch of snow. So yeah. we had to wear his big brother's <laughs> jacket, extra jacket. So he looked like he was wearing a dress jacket today. <laughs> but somebody else bought his jacket and that North Face fleece. They're, they paid 20, not 20, 91, 27 plus shipping for the two. So I buy the kids, our kids every year, a new Patagonia from their sale. Like at the end of the season, they put everything like half off. So I think I have between 50 to 60 in the Patagonia. So I probably at least broke even on this whole sale. And yeah, my kids had warm clothes to wear all year. <laughs> Except the day yeah. that he needed it yes. today. No. <laughs> all right, and then box P. Because everyone knows it snows in Colorado on May 3rd. It does until the end of May, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but as you can see, it's already all melted off. It was pretty bad this morning. Although though. I see some snowflakes falling still <laughs> right now, so. Uh, so this is some Skechers yoga sandals. I just like picking these up because I like wearing them. These were only $3.99 in Nebraska, so I grabbed them and sold them for $18.95 plus shipping. Alright, a few more. Box N. This is a super big sale. Over this way. It's not really a super big sale. I couldn't tell you were being sarcastic. Uh, this little Hello Kitty. Oh, it's a tiny bins. little cute sale. Yeah. Uh, $4.99 plus shipping on that. <laughs> so I only have about a dollar into it, so I made like three dollars profit and hey. okay with that. Honestly, those little tiny sales, not that they add up, which they do, but they just keep your store moving. Like, yeah, when people buy that, it just bo boosts my store. I feel like because I'll <laughs> whenever I make one sale, I start making more sales. Yeah, all right, so then AF the all powerful algorithm at work. A lot of Nebraska seals today. So these came from Nebraska, these Zara sandals. I paid $4.99 for them. They sold for $21.71 plus shipping. The big question is, have we paid for our trip yet with the, our well, sales? Like, <laughs> we haven't been tracking it. <laughs> I wasn't it. tracking that because it wasn't like part of the plan. Right. <laughs> and then box H. Lily. So this is a Lily Pulitzer, like a blouse. And I got this retail arbitrage at Marshall's for, what was it, $18. So this was not a good pickup. It sat, well, I thought it said September, Labor Day time. But it just finally sold for $26.06. I originally started at like $50, and every 30 days I've been dropping it like 5 bucks, and it just finally sold. So hmm. maybe made like 3 or $4 off that, but I'm glad I didn't lose money. Yeah, yeah. that happens sometimes. Yeah. You can't win them all. Neil. These are some O'Neill board shorts. Um, I got these at Goodwill for $3.50. Sold them for $16.49 plus shipping. Normally I get closer to $20 on board shorts, but these have like a little logo on the back right here, and it was peeling up just a little, so I was okay with letting them go a few bucks cheaper. Alright, sold another bra. How do you guys like our magnificent bra storage <laughs> organization right there? Where else can we We're not hanging bras from the ceiling. Until they sell, they don't make us. <laughs> this make is us not a dive bar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this one sold for twenty-one seventy-one plus shipping. Now you have nothing into these. Do not fall. <laughs> All right, so the pair of Timberland sandals on the shoe rack. Bought these on the way back from our Denver trip in Castle Rock, Colorado at their Goodwill up there. Um, I almost left them just because they're a little dirty. I didn't want to clean them, which I didn't. And I showed this all in the photos and said <laughs> that they were dirty. 
but I know Timberland's a great brand. It's just a really nice shoe and fisherman sandals in general I mentioned. Yeah. Just usually sell well. So they did. They sold in just a week or two. Four. 3476 plus ship. I picked them up for 1099. So pretty good sale. And then uh, last couple sales are two pots. And they're both sold separately, like to separate people. This one quart one sold for thirteen oh one plus shipping. This one is part of the stimulus check challenge. Got that at the bins, and then this other one. Yep. This one is the one I believe Chris picked up on his thrift haul. Yeah. So I think he paid four dollars for the pot and a dollar twenty nine for the lid because for some reason they priced them differently that day. <laughs> I've never had to pay differently <laughs> for the ones I found. Well, they weren't matching. Right. Like I had to find the lid on a different shelf and all that. And... But they should have known that they went the other way. I guess. Still a pretty good deal because normally I would pay five dollars for the. So he pretty much paid the same. About five dollars into that and it sold for twenty six oh six plus shipping. <laughs> we've sold so far all right we'll get this pile all packed up and we'll be right back with you guys all right we got everything packed up and we had two more sales come in yeah, so, uh, well we had that one that came in while we were recording we forgot to mention at the end but we'll pull it right now that Patagonia hat that I found at the Denver bins um, sold it on Kitizen for 25 free shipping. That was an offer I sent. I priced it at 25 plus ship. And so yeah, about a dollar into 25 free ship. Very nice. And then the other one was, oh, I'm sorry, Lise. <laughs> R. Uh, these are some kids box boots. I don't think I've ever sold this style before, but it's a pretty nice style. Um, they sold on Facebook for $30 plus shipping, and I got these at a local thrift for $7.99, so pretty good. Very nice. So yeah, guys, it is Monday. It's our hectic day, <laughs> as you can see. I, I say it all the time, Mondays are our busiest day of the week, and we didn't do any of this shipping last night. Sometimes we do uh, shipping on Sunday nights just to give us a head start on Mondays, and this Monday is catching up to us. We haven't got anything on the board done. We haven't really done anything but shipping and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to call it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.